Hey guys, it's Nadine. I'm here to share a small little haul. Maybe not so small in reality as I'm looking at these bags, but I went to several places at places and I wanted to share with you guys some things that I had purchased. Um, these are some of my very favorite things. Um, and I just wanted to share some with you guys. So if in case you see something you like, you can go get them yourself. But I'm also going to be doing a mini itty bitty giveaway at the end of this video. So stay tuned, watch the whole video, and I will tell you guys how to win the stuff, okay? So let me see. The very first thing that I, first place that I went to was Michael's. And I bought a few things from there so the very first thing i bought are more of these pocket pages uh the me and my big ideas or mambi pocket pages and i will probably open these and show you guys what these look like if you um if you want to see um this is more for my daughter uh my daughter's section of um the or her actual uh project life because she does her own little um project life and journaling and whatnot so this is actually for her um and this is really really cute it does have glitter on it and it is you know um the glitter and the foil theme uh, and it has 36 pieces in here then i got another one of these um this is the you are awesome one and this one has glitter and foil again and i'm not sure if i went through this one I don't know if I did or not um, but I can do that I'm gonna go back and check my other video and if I haven't already opened this box and shown you guys what's in it I'm I will be glad to do so um, but this is a really cute one I think I did go through this one um, anyways okay so then I saw these things and these are embellish cards they're calling it and there's six in it and it was $4.99 for one of these so let me just show you um, it's really cute because you can actually flip through the way they have this set up you can flip through and see but the wonderful thing about this is some of these things are actually raised so it's a three by four card but some things actually stand out and they it's not just a flat card which i thought was pretty interesting and um, i'm looking forward to using this in my project life so like it has this one right here it says live simply dream big be grateful give love and laugh lots this one says good times and then if you flip it, it's like a little book and then it has another one. Um, and in the end, it's not the years in your life that count, it's the life in your years. And I think this is going to be perfect uh, when I start to do my page about my father-in-law's passing. Um, I think this is very um, pertinent to, you know, the situation. So, And then here's one that says today. And this right here, the letters are kind of embossed in it. Or not really embossed, but debossed so that it actually stands up on the paper versus being imprinted into the paper. And this one says gratitude. This is my favorite one, really. Um, I like this one. The G, the A, the T, and the D are all standing up and are glittered. Um, so I don't know if you can actually see, but it's a little bit. It's... Um, there are uh what is it called the pop dots on the back of the letters so that it's actually raised off the page um and it says gratitude counting your blessings and this one says life itself is the most wonderful fairy tale so i got that one and then i got another one and this one says family is forever and again these are raised off the page by pop dots and then this one says i love our family and you know they have similar cards like this in the regular card set but it's just like a flat card and it's not like you know um there's no dimension to it and then here's another one that says home is wherever you are and it says our crazy family and the R and the family are um, you know is given some dimension and so is the home on this one and the next page is this one and it has a glittered heart that says so much love and this section right here is actually um, raised or um, on some uh, pop dots and then this is family and all of these are actually um they are on those uh double-sided what do you call those um stampin up we call them what do we call them <laughs> um they're like the dimension dimension little sticky thingies um but these are so cute and i just thought that it would give my project life a little bit um a little a different kind of element to my pages and so i just i was like really I think I'm going to love putting these in there. 
Um, then I got some of my favorite pens, and you all know that uh, Studio G, they make a bunch of my favorite pens before, but it's hard to find all of the colors. But Recollections also makes their set of uh, pens that kind of are very similar to the Le Pens. Um, they used to, Michaels used to carry Le Pens, but they no longer carry them anymore. So these pens are like $1.79 and um, I bought 10 of them and they are almost all the colors except for one because I didn't really need the teal color um, these are the colors that I use in my um, Filofax daily and what I wanted to do was I have another one of those better together cases from Mochi I have one set in here I have another one in another case and then I have one more Mochi uh, Mochi things um, better together pouch that's uh that i need to use for something else so but i do do love these pens quite a bit um they're they have quickly become my favorites and for the price you really can't go wrong i don't think um okay so that's another thing then i went to walmart uh to do my grocery shopping the other night and i had found some of these um these are like notepads, but the wonderful thing about these notepads is it has the days on them from Monday through Saturday and Sunday, Monday through Sunday. And if you open it up, um, each pad, the pages can be torn out, separated, and then torn out because there's a perforation in between each day. Um, and then you can use them to make lists. So I just thought this was pretty ingenious. I had seen someone on IG post this, and I was like, oh, that is pretty brilliant. And so when I was going down the aisle, uh, the school supply section aisle in my Walmart, I saw this and this is actually located in the area that they have the daytime planners. Um, so if you have a Walmart near you, you might want to check this out. This was like five, five seventy nine, perhaps I think. Um, don't quote me on the price, but it was five dollars and something cents. I'm pretty sure it's five seventy nine. I should have taken a picture of it. I usually do take a picture of it. And it's actually made by Gartner Studios. Um, so I got three of these. Um, one for myself, one to give to one of my YTSs, and then another one to be sharing. And this is what I'm going to share with you guys at the end of this video. Um, I'm going to tell you guys exactly how you guys can win one of these. So I got that. Um, let me see. The next place I went to was Target. Now, I went to Target on two different days. Because why? Because I'm a stinking Target chronic, okay? Um, but let me just show you some very cute things that I got from Target. So I am a sucker. Oh, well, hold on. So... Um, you guys know that I have had to travel uh, back to Jersey. I've actually traveled to Jersey twice in the matter of what, Jan July, August, September, four months. In the matter of four months, I traveled twice, and then I'm going to be traveling uh, one, two, three, three more times, not to Jersey, to different areas for business and pleasure. Um, but I have a thing where I don't like to wear, um, I usually wear flip-flops on the plane or slippers because it's comfortable but once I get in the plane um, or once I you know yeah once I get in the plane my feet get a little bit cold so I found these really cute socks at Target and they're exhilaration cozy low cut socks um, it's one size fits most and I just love these things they're so 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 soft um, I want to say they were like oh god I don't know how much they were oh wait here I have my receipt in here um, the socks were two dollars so I have uh, two pairs. I actually have four of these. Uh, and I bought some for my kids as well. These that you're looking right here is for Mr. RJ and my daughter. Um, we all have two pairs each because we wear one when we're going and then one to come back. So um, I highly recommend these. These are so soft. They feel good on your feet. Um, they're just really, really, really good. And um, you can also get the ones. I have another pair from um, Bed Bath & Beyond. No. Bath and Body Works that has the lotion in it that you can also find at Walgreens or Walmart in like the um, feet section where they have the foot care stuff. That one has like um, lotion in it to keep your feet moisturized if you guys prefer that. But I, I don't really need that. So um, I just like these little soft ones. So I, I love those. Um, and then I found I am a sucker for a good notebook. Um, so... At Target, they have one of my favorite, 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 most favorite notebooks ever. And let me show you what they look like. So this is by Green Room, and it's a recycled notebook, meaning it's made by recy with recycled paper. And the reason why I love this is because it feels good. There has to be, I love a notebook that is that has some substance to it, that the front and the back cover is hard, so that way when you open it up, you know, you can hold it like this and you can write on it. Um, 
So the front cover and the back cover are solid. Um, it opens up all the way. So like I said, if you needed to write, you can just go ahead and flip the cover back and write. Um, I keep my grocery list in these things because um, it is rather small and it's a good size. Um, if Let me see. Let me get a ruler so that I can actually measure it for you guys. Um, so this is going to be like a six by a six by eight notebook which is to me is very very perfect um it can go nicely on top of my filofax and i can grab everything and go if i needed to it just feels really good the paper itself is a good quality paper it's not really thin and flimsy you can't see through it of course if you use like a um, sharpie you're going to see through because it, it'll bleed uh, absolutely and then the lines are just really great i have a thing about lines i love lines and i love graph um so this notebook is really really good it has different um, covers to it like this one says ideas grow here this one says follow your heart this one says enjoy the little things and this one says ideas grow here again now let me just say this these three are mines um, I'm going to be giving them to my girlfriends uh, my YTS is on here but I have a Another one that I'm going to be giving away, and I'm going to be giving away this one because I have two of these. So this and this is going to be given away today at the end of this video. Okay, so stay tuned. I'll tell you guys how to get that. But if you guys have a Target near you, check these notebooks out. I'm telling you, they are really, really good for the price. And I think they're like three, $3.99 for one of these. So I don't know. It, it is actually really one of my favorite notebooks ever, ever, ever. I put a whole bunch of things in them. Um, I've been using them to write my grocery list in one. I have my grocery list in one. I have my ideas for YouTube, my blog in another one. Um, I also have like, um, I took one on the plane and I was just jotting ideas down on things that I needed to get done. I have my um, home, my, my, it's my one, this is actually my project management book. I attempted to use one of those Moleskine um, books to do my project management because I had actually seen organized like Jen use it or my housewife life uh, Jennifer Ross use it but I don't really like that book because you can't tear out the pages I feel guilty about tearing out the pages this if you mess up you just tear the sucker out no big deal this little thing right here you can actually clip if it's a smaller pen you can clip it inside or you can just clip it to the thing right there and then go um, I like I said highly recommend it love this book right here Okay, and then on my second trip to Target, um, let me share. So I went to Target one day and I went to Target the next day. And, oh my gosh, yeah, I bought a couple of other things from there. So all of their paper chase things have been discounted by quite a bit. And so originally, this pencil case was like $7, I think. But it's now on sale for three dollars uh three forty nine if i'm not mistaken but look at how cute this case is again it's made by paper chase and it's actually on one of the end caps um in the school supply section but i was eyeing this case before but then i was like i'm not gonna pay no stinking seven or nine dollars for this pencil case it's just ridiculous but when i saw that it was on sale i was like heck yeah let me get that but look it has like a really cool flap that you open up and you can and it has a side pocket on one side and then another side pocket on the other side but this one is zippered so you can put like paper clips, whatever in here. Um, then this side is another one that has a Velcro, and it's a more you know it's a little shallow pocket. And then if you open it up with this little zipper, it has pretty good space in here. Let me move the paper. But look at that! It's like so cute. Not that I need another. I mean, I really need another like pencil case. Like I need a hole in the head, but you know, can not pass it up? <laughs> and it's purple, so of course I definitely cannot pass that up. So that was really cute. Um, so I got that, and then I also got um, this right here, and this was on sale for $4.88. And what this is, is it's actually one of those um, shopping bags. Um, we are going to, the, the Target in my area, um, I was told that they're going to be, as of January 1st, doing away with paper bags. So basically, you either get a paper, I mean, uh, I'm sorry, they're going to be doing away with plastic bags. And so basically, 
you have to bring your own bag and or they'll give you a paper sack which i don't really care either way but i saw this and i was like it was on sale this is so stinking cute it has a cute little ring on it that you can attach to your bag um and you just you know you unfold it and then it turns into a little sack a little shopping sack which i thought was awesome technically speaking this will probably never fit any of the stuff i buy from um, target because i buy too much crap from there <laughs> but for trips and whatnot look at how compact it is i can put it in my bag especially for san francisco because then when i went to san fran i didn't realize that they are a plastic free community unless you want to spend money you know to to buy one of the plastic bags or whatever uh, so that was kind of shocking to me and uh, new to me and so um next time when i travel there um i will actually take one of these things with me so it's always good to have this on hand and it's really cute with the little girl on it so i got that another thing i got is um this paper chase um, cartridge fountain pen this thing was originally like $9.99 but it's on sale for $3.49 and I was like yeah you know what this is really cute I have another fountain pen that I use for my calligraphy because I have actually I know everybody's getting into calligraphy now but I've been doing calligraphy for quite some time not that I'm any good at it but um I just thought you know what this is really really cute um, and I've been eyeing this from the first time that it came out but I refused to spend all that much money on this because I wasn't sure about the quality but since it's like for three something I was like yeah heck yeah and it comes with the little tip uh, the nib which I don't know what size the nib is I'm pretty sure it's probably like a 0.5 if that um, and then the refill ink refills so that's really really cute and then in the dollar section I found this unusual um, page flags and this was a dollar and it's craft paper and it has a number one through six on here i thought that was kind of cute and then i found these little bags because when i send racks um if you guys have seen other people that have received racks from me i like to put their stuff in different bags um i use the plastic cellophane bags or i i like these too so i can actually put things in here for people when i'm sending their racks up so I bought, let me see, two, four, six, because um, they come in a little set, um, a big one and then a little one. And this one is orange, so this one's going to go to my orange YTS on here, and she knows who she is. Um, so then I got that, and then I got some replacement um, staples for the We Are Memory Keeper uh, stapler, which I use. I staple people's bags shut if I don't use washi, which I normally use washi, but every now and then you got to change it up. So that's what I do. I bought some extra Sharpies because I do love these Sharpies. It was like a dollar something. Um, I love the ones that has a you know, double-sided tip. And then I bought this pack of, of vellum. And Target has vellum now. And I'm going to show you later on what I use for this. But it's a pack of five sheets of vellum. It was like $2. And I was like, you can't go wrong with that. Because at Michael's, the vellum is like um, $0.99 cents or something. Maybe $0.59 cents to a dollar some, or $0.99 cents for a sheet of vellum. So I'm like, 2 bucks for a pack of 5 That's not really that bad. So I got that. Um, So yeah, that is my... That is my haul and I want to share with you guys all the good stuff I got and now for the giveaway. So I'm going to be giving away this and this. All you have to do is like this video, make sure you're a subby and then comment in the description box below. I'm going to leave this open for four days and then I will choose from there um, via random.org. All right, so I hope you guys have a great day. I'll talk to you guys later. The um, instructions for the giveaway is going to be in the description box below as well. All right, talk to you guys later. Bye.